Okay, let's go into operating with the knife. And it starts at ready positions. My knife is stowed away, but I still have a ready position. If I don't have a piece of equipment in my hands and I'm ready, then it's simply hands ready. Now, hands ready means I'm ready to defend myself with hands or present the equipment. So my hands need to be up here, up high, where they can block, where they can guard, uh, and also where they can deploy the equipment. So, from hands ready, the next level of readiness that I would have is pocket ready. I simply, I'm gonna leave my uh, right hand, because I'm right handed up here in a guard position, if it's not grabbing a pistol or something, it stays in a guard position, and then I take my knife hand, my left hand, and I'm going to come to this position, the pocket ready position. Let's look at the pocket ready in more detail. Okay, the initial pocket ready index is important, so let's look at it as if the knife was inside the pocket. Your thumb slides in between the knife and your leg to the thumb index hole. Your index finger comes to the tip of the clip. Your other fingers to the rear of the clip. And then the butt end of your knife, free of the axis end, press right up in there. This is the inside the pocket, whether at pocket carry or deep pocket carry, this is your index. Drawing the knife to utilize it as an impact weapon is the same as drawing the knife for any other use. Pocket ready is the same, same index. You're just going to draw the knife and instead of opening it, you're just going to place your thumb over the end of the knife with the knife closed and now you have the impact surface as a tool. Drawing the knife to use it as a compliance tool, again, your pocket ready index is the same. You just pull the knife out and you're already there. The thumb is left in the index. You just simply wrap your fingers around and you're going to be using these surfaces here as your compliance tool. Either this point here driving up under the chin or this surface here driving up underneath the nose. Next we're going to cover the draw to the spine pick ready. We're actually opening the blade. So I'm going to draw it up. Notice this area is all clear and I'm going to give a movement of the knife forward and then quickly and smartly draw it back. It's that reverse inertia that allows the blade to open and lock fully. Just like that. Then I just transfer my thumb over the ergonomic end of the uh, butt of the knife again and I'm now in the spine pick position to where the spine of the blade is facing me, the edge of the blade is facing out towards the threat and I place the knife behind my guard hand here. So this is spine pick ready. The reason I have the fingers on the rear of the clip here is to make sure the knife stays solid in the hand. My thumb is still indexed where it's supposed to be. So to open a spine pick ready, again, I'm going to give a smart movement to the rear, which allows it to lock in place. And then I take my fingers, walk up the blade, and put my thumb over the end. And now I'm in the spine pick position. And you notice that the blade is longer because I'm working with my hand from the back side of the handle and it makes the blade longer. Another advantage of the Hofner knife. Now, if on opening your knife, the knife doesn't open fully to that strong click that you feel in here, well, you don't keep doing it over and over again because it could come close on top of your fingers. So instead, what we'll do is we'll bump the blade on, the, on your hip area, on the, your belt, your mag pouch, your pants, whatever, uh, to ensure that your blade is locked fully and cannot close. That's very important. Now, if you're concerned that the blade can cut you when you press it, even if you miss your belt and got your love handle, let me ensure you that it will not. Um, if the edge of your blade, if I was to take the edge of this blade, even with the serrations, and press it hard on my forearm. Notice it didn't cut. 
The edge requires movement to do its work, not pressure. It requires movement. So I don't want you to lock your blade open with movement. It's just simply uh, taking the blade and popping it on your hip side to ensure that it's in a fully locked position. It's probably not going to happen because after you learn procedure, it's very easy to get the blade to lock in and the locking of the blade is a felt index. You feel it happen through the handle and into your hand. Okay, so practice your presentations from both hands ready and pocket ready. You're going to find that pocket ready is going to be much faster. So if you're in an elevated state of awareness, you don't want to be at hands ready, you want to be at pocket ready. So what are the differences as far as presentation times are concerned? From hands ready, I want you to practice to where you can consistently draw to spine pick ready in two seconds or less. All right, let's try it. Hands ready, move, 1,001, 1,002. That's where I want you from hands ready. From pocket ready, if someone's entering your reactive gap, your, your uh, awareness is heightened, you've already got your thumb in the index hole, it looks like you've just got your thumb hooked into your pocket, so you don't look like you're ready to present your knife, you look quasi relaxed. Move, 1,001. So you'll see that the presentation time is half for pocket ready versus hands ready. But you need to practice both and get very good at both.